Who gave you me? A dog trapped on a ledge high up on Kinder Scout triggers an all night rescue for the team. We received a call from a lady who'd been walking her dogs out on the top of Kinder. One of her dogs had disappeared and she thought it was stuck on a ledge somewhere near the downfall. She'd been searching for the dog for about three hours by this stage. It was starting to get dark, the weather was coming in, she was now soaked through and really cold. We were concerned for both her welfare and the welfare of the dog, but we were also seriously worried that the terrain she was searching for the dog in meant that any slips could have had really serious consequences. We decided the best thing to do would be to send a fast party up to her location to find both her and the dog, and then at the same time start the major logistical operation of getting all of our rogue rescue gear to the top of Kinder Scout. To give you an idea of the area that we're talking about, Kinder Scout is the highest point in the Peak District and the downfall is the waterfall right at the top of Kinder Scout. This is a photograph of the downfall I took a couple of years ago which shows the area that we're talking about. The red marker is the ledge that the dog had somehow managed to get itself to. And this is the point that we'll be operating our rope rescue from later on in the video. Once the fast party got to the downfall, they quickly found the lady. They assessed her and realised she was almost hypothermic, so they gave her some extra layers and put her into one of our casualty tents. We then needed to go on to find Kai the dog, and in these conditions that was no easy task. Sounds like it's further to the right, I think. There he is. There he is. Yeah, he's just below me here. I can see him shining. Okay. We'll get you, mate. Hello. Hello, boy. Well, okay, don't we? Meanwhile, the logistical operations in full flow. The first set of rope kit had already arrived on site, and more and more team members were being sent up to ferry the rest of it up to the top. We decided it would be best to get the lady off the hill as quickly as possible, so four of our team members were tasked with walking her back down to the bottom. Meanwhile, the rest of us got on with setting up the rope rescue. So, Marius, Andy, Shane, and Graham, I'm going to show them where we're going to set the milestones up. Bolt that we're using as the anchor. Thank <laughs> you. 
late, so right. I'm sure it's a better weather. <laughs> I think next road training. Oh, they were. Pull that. That's your. And then it's a clip. On there, it's a bit that you're holding on to. So the, the bit that goes through the blue pole shouldn't be shifting. That's your pump shifter. Right, you apologies for sounding like an absolute idiot. I had a couple of things going on in my mind. Uh, firstly, I didn't want to frighten the dog. I was really worried that it might run away and if it ran off there's a 50 meter drop behind it. Um, so I was really concerned that it might hurt itself if it ran away. Uh, secondly, I'm, uh, I'm dangling on the end of a rope here and I've got absolutely nowhere to go. So if I scare the dog and it gets frightened and attacks me, I've got no way of getting out of this. So I wanted to make sure that um, the dog knew that me and him were going to be really good friends throughout this whole process. Yeah, keep going. Come on, guy. Oh, baby, you know. Just to say, I was very happy to find an uninjured dog with a waggy tail. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got you. I've got you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. Wait there, wait there. Wait, Kai, yeah. wait. Wait. Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. Uh, more slack, more slack. Give 
me more slack. Oh god, come on. More slack. Whenever you are. Yeah. 
<sighs> yes, that's good actually. That that was a good good haul. What a good outcome, guys! Yeah. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Get him in the 